Hi everybody, this is Mr. Fowley. Sorry for the long delay. Um, my th timer didn't start going until just then. Um, podcast 13.2, Le Chatelier's Principle, um, which talks about shifting reactions and what we can do to make a reaction um, go one way or the other, or what happens when certain things we don't want to happen do it. Um, and these are the different ways we can shift a reaction. Add or remove a reactant or a product. Um, temperature and delta H and how we can shift things based on that, changing volume and pressure, and then the effect of a catalyst. So let's hop right into it. Le Chatelier's principle states that in any equilibrium system, so it's got to be at equilibrium, when a stress is made, the system is made on, boy, I made some mistakes, made on the system, there's a shift in the position of the equilibrium so as to re relieve that stress. Remember, equilibrium is a ratio of products over reactants. So if you do something that messes up that ratio, what's going to happen is it's going to shift. So say that magical ratio is 0.79532. Well, if you do something that messes up that ratio, it's going to shift to get back to the 0.79532 ratio. So that's what's going on. Examples of stresses. Adding or removing a substance. So if you remove something, that means you would be removing, say, part of your reactants. Well, if you remove your reactants, that means your ratio is going to get bigger. And then if your ratio gets bigger, equilibrium will reestablish it itself by shifting to get back to the original thing. Now, how do you remove a, a substance? The way you remove it is by precipitation or side reactions. And that's pretty much it, because remember, we're talking about um, we're talking about concentrations of things. So that means they have to be aqueous or a gas. And if you're talking about things that are aqueous or a gas, then you have to pick out individual particles. And you can't really do that besides precipitation, which is an example of a side reaction. Temperature, you can heat it up or cool it down. Um, pressure, the way you change pressure is by changing volume. So volume and pressure are related, but they are inversely related. And we'll get to that in a minute. Here's some use in some examples. Here we go, hopefully. There we go. So if I increase the pressure, so here's my reaction. Nitrogen plus hydrogen makes ammonia. And delta H is negative 92. So if I increase the pressure, pressure, it's going to shift to the right-hand side. Hmm. Increasing the pressure, so if I had a big box, what I want to do is have be able to be wonderful. So if you sure it shifts to the right hand side the reason is it shifts toward ah, less gas if you're increasing the temperature that means that you're adding heat now in reality you're adding heat on both sides but if delta H is negative 92 that means in my mind's eye I can add 92 kilojoules to the right hand side so if I add 92 kilojoules to the right hand side I'm adding heat so I want to shift left hand side increase the temperature it's going to shift toward the side with less heat. It doesn't mean it'll always shift to the left, it means it'll shift to the side with less heat. And remember using Plunder, if delta H is positive, if I increase nitrogen and hydrogen, so if I increase it, so it's going to shift to the side with less reactants. So the reason is too many reactants. So shift to side with less reactants. And it doesn't have to be both of them at once, but in this case it is. Increase the concentration of ammonia. So looking at that, if I increase ammonia, I'm going to have too many products. So shift to side, shift with less products. And jump beauty. Come on, change, change. Too much. The mover reactant, often precipitation. There'll be too little reactant. It'll shift toward the reactant to get more back. And um, hopefully this will shift better. Before pressure is a volume, the pressure is decreasing the volume. If the pressure, more particles are going to collide. Um, so pressure can be reduced. Finally, it popped up for me. Increased pressure can be reduced by shifting towards the side with less gas. Remember, I drew the little pictures. 
you know, if this would be my little dots, this wouldn't be about the same size with this many dots would be a lot more pressure because the gas particles are slamming into everything. Decreased pressure can be increased by shifting this. So heat or temperature. Woohoo. Uh, treat heat as a reactant or product. Plundo. If it's positive, if delta H is positive, the left is what that means. Endothermic thermal. It shifts, shifts to the side with more heat. Do one example. Four plus five, nine gases on the left, and I have four plus six, ten gases on the right. So increased pressure would shift to the side with less gas, which would be shift to the left. Increase in temperature. So if I increase temperature, notice this is delta H is negative, so I can put plus heat on the right. So if I increase the temperature, it will shift to the side with less heat which would be the left-hand side. So imagine if you shift to the right and it's too hot, you're making more heat. So imagine if you're hot, are you going to turn up the thermostat? No, that's dumb. Are you going to light a fire? No, that's dumb. So you're going to shift to the side with where there's less heat. So that, again, would be left. Increase the concentration of ammonia and oxygen. Again, I shouldn't have these be both of them. But if this happens, I have too many reactants, so I want to have less reactants. So it will shift to the right-hand side. Increase the concentration of nitrogen monoxide and water. Again, I want to shift to the side with less product. So if I add something, I want to shift to the side that has less of it. So that means I'm going to shift to the left again. All right, a catalyst speeds up a reaction. Here's a little energy hill picture. Whee! Um, and then if I wanted to have my catalyst, I would show it as a little shortened one. So my blue one would be the catalyst path. So does it speed up the forward or reverse reaction? Okay, so if I call the left-hand side my reactants, the right-hand side my products, my activation energy is less going from left to right. But going from right to left, my activation energy is also less. So it speeds up both of them. So equilibrium is achieved faster. It does not affect Kc, so no shift in equilibrium. Yeah, review, and we'll make it here in a really, really, really short time. Le Chatelier says if you stress a system, it will shift to relieve the stress. And the shifts you can do is add or remove stuff. So whatever you do, do the opposite. If you add something, remove it. If you remove stuff, add it. Um, pressure is gases only. And increase pressure, decrease gas, and vice versa. Increasing volume decreases pressure, and then see above. And then decreasing volume increases pressure, see above. Well, I just misspelled above. Heat, remember Plendo, and treat it like a reactant or a product. Catalyst speeds up in both directions and does not change the final ratio of products of reactants. So that means no shift by adding a catalyst. And that's it. And we're out of here in under nine minutes. Woohoo! Woohoo! Have a good one. Eat more candy. Bye.